What's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. Everything in life has time and season. Our times are different. They say life now race. Everybody they run in on. So don't be in a haste. Don't be in a rush to avoid making mistakes. If you rush into marriage because your mates are rushing into marriage, you will still use the same speed and rush out of that marriage. And that is why we have so many separations and divorce in our society today. So every man has a woman meant for him. Every woman has a man meant for her. God created one man one woman you know that man that said that um why you ebenine that women are everywhere so he's marrying so many wives to help the society and help the women that is being greedy every woman must get married someday so just look deep and you will find your own nollywood actress rita dominic is set to wed her man felix anosike congratulations to them many are saying why did it take her so long to get married or why did it take her so long to show off her man but guys it takes time so that you'll be sure of what you're doing you'll be sure that if you go into this marriage that you will stay so there is no point rushing into marriage and rushing out again you know how these celebrity couples and marriages have been in the recent times you know there are so many separations divorce you know scandals everywhere on social media about celebrity marriages so if rita dominic decides to take her time and get the right one and get it right that is good for her and congratulations to her once again. So moving on, Pastor Kumui and justice for Don Davis. You guys know about the little boy that was abused in Deeper Life School, I think in Cross River. What that boy passed through has nothing to do with Pastor Kumui as an individual. Some people are saying, why is Pastor Kumui keeping quiet about it? Why hasn't he done something about it? Why hasn't he granted an interview or said something or speak up? Actually, he's expected to speak up because he's the GO and CEO of that school. He's the owner of the school, so he's expected to say something about it and make sure that justice is served and justice is gotten by the family of this boy and the boy himself. So, if you are still planning to send your child to a boarding school, I want you to watch this. You trick me to your office for me to remove video. And I'm doing another one to tell Nigeria what is happening. Nigeria, I'm not safe. Oh. If after the video, they, I'm going to do me, boy, I die. Let this tree have what kill me. Let this my last voice have what kill me. This is what happened all this afternoon. This is what happened now. Now this is what happened now. They call on my phone for me. She said she took out the video I put on air. All of that was on me. She said she took out the video I put on air. They are putting her office on the government in a mess. Honorable Commissioner, did I lie on you? Did you come to the office to 11 o'clock? Is he a lie? Is he a lie? Why did you trick me to your office for me to be bullied? Why did you trick me to your office for me to be bullied? You trick me to your office and should bring my son for questioning. I got there. I got there. This woman is attacking me. Please, honorable commissioner. The first day you visited on Davis in school, in hospital, you brought him, um, you brought his provision. If it's the provision, that is making you do this. Come and pack it. You have not opened it. Let truth stand. The first day you came to visit the Davis in the hospital, you brought him provision. We have not opened the provision. If it's the provision that is making you do this to me now, I have not opened it. Come and pack it. Come and pack it. You call me to bring my son for investigation. As soon as I walk in, you started attacking me. Then why did I go on live broadcast? I ask you a question. Is that why you brought me here? I ask you a question. Your 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 your, your investigation on that eleven. The only problem I'm having with Don Davis right now is that he snap out of his sleep or scream out of his sleep. I don't know what to call that because um, was it um, day for yesterday night? I was like, why are you doing like that? He's like, mommy, I'm sorry. I see somebody wants to blow me to go and we and whenever I snap out and jump up that way, he will rush to the um, bathroom to go and we and he will actually we. So me, I don't, I don't think I like that style. I don't know. How so who are the senior students responsible for the abuse of the boy? Why is the state commissioner for education trying to intimidate the family of this boy? So guys, if you don't know, boarding school is where gays are formed. A lot of these children go through various forms of abuse in the hands of teachers, students, and principals in boarding schools. 
So train your children in a way that he or she will not drag your name to the mud like the parents of these ones that abused this boy is passing through now because I'm sure that their parents are not happy about the situation. So this school is good so that you can monitor your child and observe things around that child. Notice the changes in your children. So this little boy can't be able to express what he went through no matter what he has told the parents, what he has told the mother, the ones that he has said on social media. I believe these boys did not just use their fingers and their legs, you know, on the anus of that boy. They must have used their bola as well. They go down put bola for this boy, you know, something. And the boy cannot come out to say it. So this boy needs therapy. This boy needs lots of things for him to be able to recover from the trauma that he's going through now. Even in the night, I believe that boy cannot be able to sleep well. His, his system is no longer functioning well. What could have made him to be vomiting even after the mother took him away from school? Some are saying, why didn't the mother call within the weeks to check on her son that the mother is supposed to be blamed for what happened to the boy? This woman brought out pictures of the boy before he went to school and after she brought him back from school. So I don't think that woman has so many blames because they were not allowing parents to see their children due to the pandemic. The school has to bear responsibility, you know, for what happened to that boy. And they need to be responsible for the medical bills to make sure that that boy becomes himself again in life. So that's, that's what I think about that. If you are still thinking of sending your child to a boarding school, you have to think twice because lots of things are happening in boarding school that your children will come home and they cannot be able to tell you, they cannot be able to open up to you and tell you these are the things that they are seeing in boarding schools. All right. So moving on, Hush Puppy. Guys, you know Hush Puppy. The story of Hush Puppy is everywhere. We cannot start introducing Hush Puppy to people all the time. This Nigerian lady, Ella Ada, went on 30 days fasting and praying for Hush Puppy so that Hush Puppy will return from America. Remember that Madame Kemi said that Hush Puppy is the only person that has traveled to America without a visa. Lots of Nigerians want to go to America. Even me, I want to go to America. But Hush Puppy was so lucky. He traveled to America without a visa. And this lady went on a mountain with a camera, light. You know, Odumejo don't do them before. He went on a mountain with camera that he's praying for Kolo to vanish from the world. TB Joshua did the same, praying for Kolo to vanish from the world. So if this lady does it on a mountain with camera, crew that are videoing and recording her, snapping her pictures for Hush Puppy to return from America. Do you think that God will answer that prayer? So leave your opinion in the comment section. And if this is the first time you're coming across our channel, please don't forget to like this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you have not, and share our videos. Follow us on social media. You'll see our handles up there. Davido and Bonner Boy brawl in Ghana. They said Davido and Bonner Boy, they fight for club in Ghana. You know, one thing these guys forgot to understand is that the industry is too big for everybody. It's big for all of them. So why are they fighting over what I don't know? Why are they fighting? Maybe if Bonner Boy becomes the number one in Africa or the video becomes number one in Africa or even Whiskey that was somewhere there chilling. Whiskey no like stress and was drinking from his bottle. You know, watching the whole thing, the whole scenario, watching how the whole thing unfolded. What are they fighting for? Your papa get money, your papa no get money. The other one, African giant, the other one no be giant. Who cares? Nobody cares about all these things. You know, what their fans want is good music. That is all we care about. Good music, hit after hit from these guys. They are all good. No one is saying that Bonner Boy is not good or Davido is not good or Whiskey is not good. You know, the comparison between these three guys is what is causing the problem in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. That is what is causing problem in the entertainment industry, musically, you know. They have their fans, huge fan base, both locally and internationally. So they should concentrate on making good music than being childish wherever they are. How can these two guys go to Ghana and start fighting in a club? There is something I've just come to realize. The crowd that move around with them, the crowd they surround themselves with, is not doing them any good. The video should learn to be more mature because he has children. Bonner Boy, on the other hand, should be matured enough to avoid some certain things. It's not everything that he will respond to. If they understand that things are not moving on well with the two of them, they should avoid where the other person is. In a nutshell, they should come together and, you know, be like one, be like Nigerians, be like brothers, you know, watch each other's backs. So that's what I think about it. Going to Ghana to fight, you know, I'm going to quit music. I have a mansion in heaven. 
my father is rich, they are jealous of me, things like that. Nobody cares if your papa get money, your partner they feed another person. Now so it be. Your papa get money, you know they feed another person. Your papa get money, you know they feed Bonner Boy, you know they feed Whiskey. The same goes to Whiskey and uh, Bonner Boy. Their papa know they feed Davido. The so they just have to be themselves, concentrate on making music, concentrate on winning awards, concentrate on their fan base, and stop being childish. Respect themselves, respect each other, and respect their fans. That's how I see it, guys. Merry Christmas, Christmas don't pass, Happy New Year in advance guys. And this 2021 will bring good things your way. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you have not, share our videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.